experience in the kitchen. Cindy Lane Ross is in the kitchen here. Cindy's trying to keep me awake. Uh, when you wake up at 1.30, you start getting downhill about this time, so she's laughing at me because I'm a little uh, on the sleepy side. But let me tell you guys, Cindy Ross, uh, she's making a great spicy shrimp and bell pepper toss this morning, but she had a chickpea recipe on a couple weeks ago. I made it last night, Cindy. It is wonderful. Did it did it go kid approved? Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, well, I don't have any kids, but, but it, 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 it would Ch right? be approved. Hey, that, you know what? If Chastity approves, it has to be good. Right. right. It's very easy for you parents if you do have kids. It's it's very simple the recipe and doesn't take long to cook. You can check that out on our website along with this recipe. Yeah, you know what? It's all about keeping the flavor. Yeah. It's it's just be healthy and we want to have it, you know, taste really good. That way everybody loves it and and it keeps you on track. Well, I tell you you this is smelling really good this morning we've got a lot of fun stuff here we do um, it's, it's a spicy shrimp toss and literally you know I always try to go three or three less ingredients okay so no more than three ingredients and we're, we're doing um, some cayenne some chili pepper cumin and of course I'm using fresh garlic and mm -hmm. onion bell pepper and cilantro it, so this too, oh, they put up the, there we go, we put up everything that's in it. Good, good, good. All right, so as far as being easy, you're talking about kid approved too. Yes. Parents really busy right now with everything going on. Is this something that would be good for them? It is. Get the kids involved. Um, we're using uh, tin foil today, like little squares of tin foil. We're going to make little almost pockets, okay? And we're going to put it in the oven. It's it's super simple. So go ahead and preheat your oven 425 degrees, and have the kids cut the tin foil. They'll have fun with it. We're going to spray it down with some Pam, yeah. and just put the mixture right in it. You know, Cindy, you have all this stuff. Again, easy recipes, quick recipes, and then people can get these recipes um, and have them at the tips of their fingers. That's right. Uh, a couple of different sources. Uh, you can go onto my website mm -hmm. and we have all the recipes there. And then also everything that I've ever cooked is in um, my cookbook that it just came out, the Fat to Fit cookbook. And it's got a lot of nutritional information. And I'm, I'm working on my second one right now. I have got to get a copy of that because I'm telling you guys, that chickpea recipe it's in there. was <laughs> wonderful. All right. So getting started here, we're cutting some stuff up. I yeah. see a knife. Yes. Uh, um, I already did um, just about a pound of shrimp went ahead and peeled it and then um, we're going to go ahead and throw in just some red onions okay, okay. Um, just found out last night my husband does not like red onions so I'm not allowed to cook with red onions at my house anymore, anymore. <laughs> And um, we're going to go ahead and throw in the garlic. So substituting, if you had something like that, like someone who maybe didn't like red onions. Just omit them. You're not going to, yeah. I mean, I love onions. I think they add a lot of flavor, especially red onions. I think they add a lot of flavor, but you don't, you know, you don't have to. And I think we're a little stuck here. But um, this is just about a teaspoon of, um, actually it's a quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, which is, it can get hot. So right. you know, adjust it to your taste. Okay. And then just a teaspoon of of cumin and we have two teaspoons of chili powder. And we're going to get this stirred around. And of course, Joe and Cherish are going to be with you. I've got, I'm going to try You're one of these. Me. Well, I'm not in the third <laughs> cooking segment, but I usually make my way over here at some point uh, to try what's going on. So I definitely want to try this. Maybe it'll be my next recipe. If there's any left, I will save some for you. Cindy, you're helping me <laughs> out. Joe, she's teaching me how to cook. <laughs> About time. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm That's why Chastity kidding. didn't get any sleep last kidding. night. She was up cooking. Yeah, up cooking those chickpeas. Chastity, all you need is a little t a little work in the kitchen, and anyone can be a good cook. That's right. Yeah. Hey, um, we, you told me a story. This is Cindy Ross from Bodies by Cindy <laughs> that I wanted to share because it sounded uh, sad, but it also sounded very interesting about a vacation you were just on in the Bahamas. You were out there in the water and something happened. Yes, I was um, paddle boarding and um, just happened to break a couple ribs. You know, I mean, what happens on vacation, right? That's, why? Okay, wait, wait. What, what happened? What happened? Well, you know, we're just out there paddle boarding and I, I honestly, like, it should not have happened. I think my rib cage just kind of caved in. But that, those paddle boards yeah. are hard. Have you ever been on one? I have been They're on like one. Hard it is very glass. difficult. Did you think you saw something in the water? Yeah, there were stingrays and sharks and everything. At, because the water okay. is so clear, you're able to see it. 
it and it, it spooks you, you know? So that might have had something yeah, to do with you it. Know, you saw something. Oh, every day Jason would be like, hey, look, look, swim over there, paddleboard over there, and there would be this huge stingray. And all yeah. I can think is, oh, my God, that ray is going to come up and kill me. <laughs> it was a blast, though. It, good times. How are your ribs feeling? Feeling better? They're a little stiff, yes. A little stiff yeah, right Can now? you tell? I'm like a little stiff. I'm like, uh, no, it's not that bad. All right. Well, you know, one thing that can help if you can't work easy. out a lot is to <laughs> eat healthier. That's exactly which right. Which is what we're doing here today. So tell the folks what we've done so far. Okay, so we're just making the spicy shrimp toss. Okay, mm -hmm. added in some bell peppers. And again, very few ingredients. We use cayenne pepper, chili powder, and cumin. Fresh garlic, uh, we use lime juice, and then I did about a quarter cup of cilantro chopped up. And cilantro is always great to add in. It's good for digestion. Anytime that you can add in, it's that fresh. And most, I know we're going into fall, but it's, it's more, it's like a summer dish. So it's going to remind you of the great summer that we had. I'll eat this any time of the year. It looks yeah. fantastic to me. And what's up with your boy Jason not liking red onions? I, I love know, red onions. Right? I think it's because he saw them, and usually he doesn't see me adding them into the, <laughs> into the recipes. And he saw them, and he was like, oh, no, I absolutely cannot eat that. So now I have to hide my red onions when I'm making them at home. I'm glad you brought them for us here today because I do appreciate a good red onion. <laughs> so we're just going to make little pockets now to throw in the oven and this makes about four servings and again it was about a pound of shrimp that I used, half mm -hmm. of a red onion and we're just going to even up these and pretty much you just want to make a pocket out of it just like you're I'm just doing like a, a roll and then I'm going to fold on the sides. And then when we put them in the oven, how long do we 15 have? 15 minutes. Just at a few 425. Minutes. Yeah, 15 minutes, 425. And you just want to seal it up because there is lime juice in there, and I drizzled just a little bit of olive oil, so it will smell amazing. All right, so it is about 9.30-ish right now, so when we come back for your final cooking segment, we should get to see how these turn out. You also are working on some couscous over here. You know, this shrimp is great to put over salad, couscous, mm -hmm. so I thought, you know what, I brought couscous for you guys. <laughs> yeah, couscous is very healthy as well. I love this dish. I want to make this at home as soon as possible, but first I'm going to try it out later on in the show. Thanks a lot, Cindy. Appreciate it. Guys? Wait, real quick. Chastity and I are discussing. Cindy, how did you break your ribs on a stand-up paddleboard? You stand up and you paddle. Yes. Did you fall? Sometimes, you know, you might hit the board. So you <laughs> fell. Um, technically, yes. Oh. So you, so like, gracefully. Not it was talk gracefully. Talk about how Ouch. technically it happened. Oh yeah. Okay. But, Tara, she would be amazed at all the sea life that you get to see, the clear waters of the Bahamas. It was amazing. Uh, D don't sit over there, you two, and pretend oh. that if you were on a paddleboard and you didn't see a shark or would something, you not get that, that you might not get spooked. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you just wanted a closer look, right, Cindy? Uh, That's all. Exactly. That's all. We'll just, we'll just say that. <laughs> it smells good in this kitchen. Cindy Lane Ross from Bodies by Cindy making a spicy shrimp and bell pepper toss. Just pulled it out of the oven. It smells good. Yes, it does. I can smell the peppers. You can smell the peppers. You can smell the cayenne. You can smell the cilantro, too, yeah. because the cilantro always gives it that fresh smell. So I just made some super easy couscous. Literally, you boil water, pour the box of couscous in, let it set for five minutes. Really easy. I mean, it's a, it's a great staple for any busy night of the week. Okay. So, um, I think... You can I, get that. I don't. Cool. I think it's my alarm that the food's ready. Actually, oh, okay. Um, I had to set <laughs> my alarm because you guys don't have an alarm here. So, 15 uh, minutes, 4:25. Exactly, 15 minutes, okay. 4:25. And what we'll do is we're just going to take this one out. And these are perfect portion sizes. And again, I'm always about portion control. Yeah. So this made up Man, great portion sizes and it has a great smell. And we're just wow. going to dump that right on top. That looks and fabulous. Can't Cherish believe is always like the this. lucky one to get to yeah, try the food. Yeah, and I love health food, so this is great. Of course, I do spoil myself. I spoiled myself when I was in L.A. I did have some deep-fried French toast and some strawberry shortcake, uh, a strawberry shortcake Belgian waffle. Don't hit me. So you did cheat a little, so now I you did. eat clean. <laughs> so now it's back to, yes, the healthy stuff. And I do love everything you've cooked on the show has been so good. So I'm excited to, to taste this and also cook this. So, so I guess I gotta get and a little bit of everything. You could t put this in tacos, you can do it on salads, anything and everything. I mean, it would go with. And you want to get all the flavor all in. All the flavor. So, as we're talking about health, Cindy, you have an amazing story of why you chose to go on this healthy 
lifestyle, this healthy path. That's exactly right. Um, weighing 226 pounds, I had no choice but to change my life. I was headed down a really bad road after losing my mom and dealing with rheumatoid arthritis. I knew that it was it was worth you know it, it worth me getting in shape for if I wanted to have a long and healthy life. So mm -hmm. I lost 110 pounds just by cleaning up my nutrition mm. and getting moving. And that's that's what we preach to our clients. It's the quality of life, and um, it's about how good you feel and how much energy you have to sustain your days. Yeah, such an amazing story. Now you have your gym and you have healthy recipes. That's right. You have the full package. So if anybody wants to go in and you want to work out with Cindy, you can work out one on one. You also have group classes. I have group classes. We have um, a boot camp, a spin class, which Joe got to experience, which was fun. Mm -hmm. And we also have a class called Buck Guts and Thighs. And, um, you know, our focus is about just getting you in shape and feeling good and, and having a lot of energy. We have personal training and a full-fledged gym. And the gym you're looking at, of course, is Bodies by Cindy. You can see how nice it is, how clean it is. And that's the, uh, that's the class that you're just that talking about. That is the about. class. Okay, and a lot of different classes offered. And again, nutrition, this is so, so good. This recipe is on our website, fox10tv.com, on our Studio 10 page. Truly, this has just the right amount of spice. I don't want to stop eating it. We want to get the bell don't peppers worry, with it. Don't worry, there's four servings, so you have your own. But Okay, so this is all is one yours. serving. That's one serving. This is a lot of food. It this is, is great. I don't even know if I can finish this, and this is healthy stuff. It's healthy. Recipe is on our website, as well as any information you want to know about Bodies by Cindy. You can go see her. She's on Airport Boulevard, just west of University. Stop by. Check her out. Any questions you have about nutrition, You're you cool. can ask. With your time. Looks good. Can't wait to try some of that out. I know Chastity's excited as well. Looks fantastic. All right, some Hollywood